the seed proposal for bond refinance? Say amen. Mayor and Council, I did, uh, after our discussion on Monday night, receive information from both uh, Seville's, um, both firms. And I uh, wanted just to ask you, I know that there was some question and dialogue among the Council as well about answers to various questions. Um, and I just asked, would you all like for me to read those into the record for the benefit uh, of you right now? Just They just had additional information. Some of it's a restate, but some of it is clarification of questions. Sure. sure. Okay. Uh, I'll just go in the order that uh, the presentations were made, which I believe Ameris went first, didn't they? Yes. Okay. So from Ameris Bank, uh, Mike Levine, um, there were two answers to questions. Uh, there was no, there would be no bank fees associated with uh, the booking of the refinance in Ameris Bank. And also, <coughs> clarification, Ameris Bank agrees to cap the city of Hanar's attorney's fees at $20,000 means that any attorney's fees in excess of $20,000 will be covered by Ameris Bank. And those were the only two clarification points from Ameris Bank. Uh, we also had uh, some more information submitted by uh, Trey Monroe at Merchant Capital, and both uh, firms are present for questions as well. Uh, just uh, attached, attached set of updated numbers that he quoted on Monday night. Total interest cost, 2.96%, uh, saving on average 21,000 a year. The results of savings over the life of current debt, 826,000. A few distinctions uh, to point out, the interest rate is fixed over the life of the debt. Uh, not subject to any rate resets or forced in restructuring 10 years. However, um, they can do a 10 year financing based on a 15 year AM and 2.59%. Uh, they also offer financing as far as 30 years. If we want to incorporate new money for expansion or anything in that regard, they can provide as much as 2.1 million uh, at the current level, 191 and 898 per year. Our fixed rates uh, for 30 year financing is 3.83%. So that is the extent of the information I received from the two respondents. I had a back and brains with me in April of Paris person and talked to a number of people about it and I haven't seen what easy feeling they have is I have yet to get the cost uh, on the rate structure of the city of higher mm -hmm. finance is what is uh, expected <coughs> the city as far as the rates per customer, what is the rates going to have to jump to? I get to figure that out and I asked that question on the night and it was your question. Um, how much are we going to have to increase the consumer water bill to satisfy the clients? We have both firms here if we need to come up with I think I think for one of them at least I think Paris. Actually, said something about that. Yeah, we did. Could y'all folks here expound on it? Mayor, Mayor, Council, um, state chairman. I'm Michael Lee, market president of the Mayor's Bank. Uh, you may recall in, in Jason's presentation Monday night, we addressed that issue through debt service coverage agreement um, agree that you would agree to maintain a 1.1 1 .1 times debt service coverage. So what this does is it allows you to uh, really address that however you see fit. If you if you can save expenses within the water and sewer enterprise and achieve that 1.1 1 .1 time without raising rates, that's fine with us. Um, the fact of the matter though is if you don't do anything and take either one of these proposals, you in fact would have to raise rates more than you would if you do refinance your bond issue because you will be improving your debt service coverage if you refinance at a lower rate. That, that's sufficient. So that again. 
rather rather than work into the proposal a specific increase in water sewer rates, okay. we ask that you achieve a or maintain a 1.1 times debt service coverage, which means that you have 1.1 times enough money right. after you pay your expenses to pay to satisfy the debt payments. If you can achieve that by cutting expenses within the water and sewer enterprise, uh, you would have rate rates. So we leave we leave that up to you all. It would be it would be your decision as to how you want to attack that. Um, but the fact of the matter remains: if you if you don't refinance, there is, there will be a greater disparity than it would be if you do refinance because after a refinance, you're your uh, your debt service coverage is going to go down. What you're going to expend from the water and sewer authority is going to go down. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're talking about. Have, have you picked, have you done the figures on that? Uh, current uh, debt service, with the exception of uh, our GFO uh, financing, which is not um, which is not included in, in these proposals. I believe is around one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I have to go back and check. One one fifty nine three thirty one. One fifty nine three thirty one. So the one fifty nine three thirty one. Uh, just let's just take Maris for example. You can run it on uh, on the merchant capital if you need to. But from one fifty nine uh, to one forty five, the savings is approximately fourteen thousand dollars. So uh, what they're requiring is that that 1.1 coverage of the 145 would be uh, basically 14.5 in addition to the 145. So it's you're looking at about a wash. Uh, and just for clarification, um, we we project that debt service to be 142,000 some because of based on a, on a rate that I've uh, quoted Monday night. And I know that uh, in, the, uh, in the fiscal year 13 audit, we had a little bit of a loss there. But if you recall, too, we had some money that we were able to roll into uh, the operating of the fund uh, because we paid off our 72 bonds. Right. So the loss ended up being somewhere around $15,000 as well. So even in that instance, it's pretty much a wash. So, so have you calculated if we go this route? If we go this route, uh, what effect we would have to have on rates to to manage the debt? If we, of course, we're at a point now. I don't think the service is going to be cut much. I would think the, the variable question with the proprietary fund, as it always has been, is our our our, our capital. Capital with respect to uh, tap fees. So tap fees are continually budgeted at one amount, and depending on what the housing market is and what building is, within a given year, we may come close to the projection, we may not. In these past, uh, in this past fiscal year, we didn't. And, and you know, we, we hit probably we budgeted 100,000, I think we hit somewhere around 40. So, you know, we a little bit less. Now, in this given year, building may have picked up a little, we may do a little bit more. So it's it's sort of a moving target. Um, but suffice it to say, um, some form of rate increase I think is necessary no matter which alternative is picked. So well we understand and, and, and I know that I mean, I've lived in several places before I moved to a higher rate for it. I'm shocked when I saw our rates. They were so low. And it was great. I like I like first people. But but of course we know that uh, with 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 anything that's happening today, uh, increases can occur and this just catches up with this in the place. I think that's something we have to discuss in our in our uh, retreat as far as how it's going to be affected. Do you see this affecting the the uh, uh, you as a person who sees these figures? On, on, on an everyday basis, do you see uh, a huge impact on, say, a monthly water bill fee? No. Based on uh, for us to be able to cover 
I don't think refi is necessarily a factor. I, I think this is a systemic problem that has existed for several years. Rates have not been raised in 15 years. Right. And uh, if you look at our comparisons, and certainly anyone in here, uh, I can talk to one on one, and, and I can take the council as well. One of the topics we're going to cover at our retreat was the analysis done by the Georgia Rural Water Association of rates around the state. And when you input uh, the city of Ahara, what you see for rate structure is that we're in the bottom 15% right. of cities our size. Right. And, um, you know, obviously we don't necessarily need to frame our rate st structure based on what other cities do. That is to say, we're very affordable, extremely right. affordable. Right. And uh, the way the rate structure is, modifications could be made and probably should with respect to the base charge and the per thousand gallon fee charge after 3,000 gallons. Uh, how much of an increase that needs to be done, whether it needs to be phased, um, what steps need to be taken, are things that need to be fleshed out. Sure. But does the refinance, is that a catalyst? No. Not necessarily, no. Not necessarily. Right. Well, you make the what seventeen hundred dollars a month savings if we refinance. Well, and they, so that's about one hundred and ninety thousand dollars a year. And we sneak in a five thirty fund, just one hundred ninety thousand. Two savings. Um, yeah. I would toss that back out to the respondents. How much savings are we projecting on an annual basis in debt service? Seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand dollars. Annual. Oh, annually. Annual. Oh, no, right. Right. Okay, how much reduced is the monthly payment for what we're paying now to the new factories? Well, uh, our current debt service is 159 So if you reduce it by $17,000, you're, you're talking about almost $1,500 a month. Right. $1,500 a month. Right. 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 Which helps. Yeah. Absolutely. And plus, <clears throat> in refinancing at a lower rate, you know, we're, we're, we're enabling uh, the city to save, in the long term, all these capital projects that have been financed over the years. So, you know, it, it makes sense to do it and take advantage of the rates right now. Uh, but whether or not a rate increase should necessarily be contingent upon this, I think one is necessary, but, uh, but I think we're, we're yielding savings from this and we're still keeping our head above the water. So, uh, so those are issues that can be worked out. Well, people look at here now, not 20 years down the road. That's a problem. Well, that's something that, that you can say that, and, and that, that is, that's human nature. Yes. But sometimes we've got to draw human nature into the reality of the day. And the reality of the day is what we have to live with. And so, um, um, yeah, I, I can understand that. And that's all of us think that way. That's, that's what we got to fight. Think about sometimes. Sometimes you think long term. Sometimes you think the reality of the day. The reality of the day is that I think we need to move with this and, uh, and set ourselves up for being able to manage ten years from now a lot better. So, still, uh, my question I still have not set up the answer. What will be what will we refinance? What will the rate structure have to be to refinance? Are we talking a dollar a month, five dollars a month? Well, that's not that, and again, as he's, as he's tried to explain, I know it's not. whether we do that or not, it's yeah, not going to affect that decision. That's the decision we're going to have to make whether we refinance or not because of where we are in trying to pay off the debt with the resources and the income that's being generated by the fees at the present state. I understand that, but it's the here and now. You know, most of my constituents, believe it or not, won't be here 20 years. Right.
various effects that it will have. And the Georgia Rural Water Model will actually allow you to modify a rate increase and see what impact it has on how the rates compare to other communities around the state. Yeah, I don't like that statement. I don't care what other cities do. I'm concerned about the city. We have if the city up the road charges fifty dollars a gallon, that's fine. But what our rates are here is what the rates are. Yeah. But, but you, can, you can you can say that too um, um, as well. Uh, but but you always got to understand that their costs are the same as our costs. When they go by go and buy fittings for sewage and, and, and water, they're they're paying the same thing for for, for piping and plumbing. They're paying the same for for uh, personnel costs and benefits costs. So you can say what's not good, you know, we should model ourselves by another city, but we all deal with the exact same cost and where we're getting this stuff to manage these systems. And so it, it is relevant. Well, so you may say that how, how much less our rates were. Right. We have survived this, our water sewers function. We don't have major issues. Uh, well, now, a lot of what they charge in other cities. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, we have leaks, we have some pipes that should be replaced. But again, uh, what's good for everybody else is not necessarily good for the environment. Okay, well, let's get back on the subject. We told the water rates of that tree. Uh, let's get back on the subject. Can I ask a question? Yes. I'm sure up here. Um, I have information that you guys sent from Maris, I believe it was specifically Jason Glass on this letter from March 26th of this year. And it had some information written on here that sounds a little bit different than the numbers I'm hearing tonight. And so if they're still valid, please let me know. And if there's been some differences, let me know with that as well. Um, but it says in the letter, comparatively, we anticipate this proposal will save the CAA higher approximately $576,000 and that would, uh, which would be an interest savings of $23.98 a month. I've heard a different number of $1,500 a minute ago. Were we talking about the same thing? Or? That was the savings of the actual payment, I think. Uh, the actual payment? Uh, or the life of the payment? Or the life of the loan? That was monthly number was not next. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Now, we are dealing with two numbers, though, and that's important that you bring that up because since okay. our proposal, 10 year swap rate has declined by about 20 basis points. So you, you went to my next question because uh, Mr. Glass mentioned that. So please explain that, would you? Well, our our proposal in March was based on that 10 year swap rate plus 65 basis points. And that was equal to 3.5% at the time with a decline in the swap rate. Currently, if we were to book this deal today, the rate would be 3.3. So you pick out 20 basis points of savings there, additional savings, so uh, costing you less. Uh, providing we can move through the process of getting this closed and rates. So, so the, five, six, the figure of 576,000 would be actually a little bit higher. It would, if they could buy additional 20 basis points. Correct. That's right. Yes. Well, they like said 3%.
So by our calculation, um, 2012, uh, we had net revenue available for debt service of a little over $300,000 with $159,000 debt service obligation. That's almost two times that service coverage. So you were well above what the minimum standard of the documents would be. Now, I think when you get into this discussion is how it affects the internal transfer of funds that you're leaving uh, from the enterprise into other funds. That's the number that y'all are going to have to get a handle on and decide whether or not it makes sense to raise your rates or not. But under the bond documents, just like USDA probably already requires you to do, uh, you would be compliant. Uh, so uh, I, I did want to clarify that. Um, as uh, Mr. Sumner uh, mentioned, we, we ran our numbers originally back in March. Uh, I think our rate for this was about 3.4%. Um, now it's 2.96. Uh, I think the, the drop is, is reflective of what's happened to the tax exempt uh, municipal market. Uh, you know, one of the differences, I think, between our proposal and the American proposal was to basing it off the swap rate, which is a taxable number. Uh, you know, based on the taxable swap, we're giving you the benefit of that tax exemption, uh, which brings it way down to that, that level. So, I did want to clarify again, as I mentioned Monday, the rates that you see from me do include the fees uh, that are payable to us uh, when the transaction closes. And if the transaction doesn't close, if y'all get unhappy, if something happens, the market gets away, uh, you won't know the same thing. So, yeah. And, man, you're not. Uh, Oh, you can say the fee was 3.08. Yes. Now, it's dropped since 99 to 2.96. And what will be our net savings for this per year? Uh, with our current proposal, uh, it would be 20 year. We're proposing a 20 year fixed rate obligation, so there will never be a rate reset. Uh, you won't be subject to um, any kind of restructuring. 10 years from now unless you choose to refinance. Uh, so it's a fixed rate pool for 20 years and that results in a savings uh, roughly between $21,000 to $23,000 a year. Is that the same We have no bank fees. They're not added to the debt as, as the uh, first capital has. Okay. Added to your balance. Can't we have one question?
questions that uh, and entertain a motion. Well, I'll get it started. Um, based on what I've heard, if there is a, a difference in, in the overall cost, but uh, I am swayed by uh, what I've heard is uh, uh, the folks in the rest who live in our community. And to me, uh, I like to invest in people who like to invest in me. And that's why uh, I'll make a motion to be a number down. same 10 years from now. That's right. yep. What's the Fix for 15 years. It's 15 years. So it's about 100 